a call to order the January 12, 2015 meeting of the City Council Ordinance Committee. And uh, I'm Councilor David Murphy, Councilor Maureen Carney, Councilor Ryan O'Donnell, and from the Planning Department, Carolyn Mish. So we've got a couple uh, obligatory things to do and then we'll get to Carolyn. Uh, announcing audio and video recording, and that is taking place. Um, and we've sort of done our attendance, so we know who is here. Um, there is no one here but the four of us, so we can't really do public comment because there's no public here today. Uh, so can I get a motion to approve the minutes of our last meeting, which was December 8? A second. Any discussion about minutes now? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we'll go into our orders and ordinances, and as we get ready to cure, she, uh-oh, nice. we have a TV malfunction? Because we have no PAM yeah. today, so we, yeah. That's why I wanted to double check. Let's <laughs> <laughs> do it again. You could do better. Yeah. No, it's going. So that brings us around to... 14331 ordinance pertaining to best management practices for stormwater as of the site plan review. And that's what Carolyn's here to speak to us about, so the floor is yours. Okay. Great. Um, so this ordinance is um, deals with adding specific language to both the submittal requirements under site plan and the approval criteria under site plan review. Uh, which means that the language really would only become applicable to those projects in the city that trigger a site plan by the planning board. So um, the, there's a size threshold of um, 2,000 square feet um, or more a project, or there are other specific projects that are already identified in the zoning that's, that require site plan approval, even if they're smaller projects. Um, under the site plan review, you don't really need to do a stormwater management report or analysis unless you hit a larger threshold, which is a 5,000 square foot project, or if you're um, creating 10 or more parking spaces on your site. Um, those, um, the, that's the um, initial threshold that you would trigger um, uh, the requirement under site plan to submit uh, stormwater information. So this, um, these two paragraphs, the one in the um, submittal criteria uh, and the approval criteria really relate to the bigger projects um, and not those um, smaller 2,000 to 5,000 square foot um, projects. This also pretty much remains applicable only for those projects that don't also require a stormwater permit separately under the DPW um, jurisdiction of stormwater um, permitting. Um, and the, um, so the paragraph to be added uh, in the submission criteria is that um, applicants should provide or show um, what kind of best management practices as it relates to storm managing stormwater on your site that will be undertaken during both construction and then long term afterwards to manage the runoff once the project is completed. Um, and part of that is to show that they consider the incorporation of green infrastructure, law impact design standards to the extent feasible, and um, analysis showing how or why not they're um, if they're not, um, including low impact design or green infrastructure. Um, and as part of that, to submit the inspection schedule. All of this, all of these criteria are, are things that we ask applicants to provide now. It's just not codified. And um, it's the trend that the state requires whenever you trigger a stormwater application under the state guidelines, you have to do these things anyway. Um, so we're just sort of updating the ordinance to be consistent with the practice and also the requirements at other um, threshold at, uh, at other levels. Um, and I understand that when this there was some joint committee 
with the stormwater, um, I'm sorry, between city council and DPW. Mm -hmm. There's a new about this. Now. Yeah, that new committee. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And um, Councillor O'Donnell, you're on that committee? I'm not. Okay, I was it was, I think it was Councillor Adams, I think. Was, so at that committee level, level, there was a discussion about whether this is premature because the EPA is going to be bringing, has been talking for oh, several years about changing the requirements that local governments need to, um, different standards by which the, each local jurisdiction needs to abide by for its, for managing the public infrastructure. Um, and so there was a concern in that committee that this may be, um, is premature to uh, present, but it, but um, really this has, this is so general, this is just asking for information and showing that you're going to be incorporating green infrastructure or low impact design standards. It's not any, it doesn't spell out the things that have to be addressed. So it's really not the same thing or not trying to supersede or anticipate what might be coming down from EPA in terms of the city's requirements for managing stormwater. So I wanted to clarify that as well, because I don't know if you had heard about that, or it certainly will come back to council floor. How did they vote then in the end? I think they voted to take no action at all, because it, um, it's my understanding that Jim uh, Lorilla was at that meeting and wasn't quite prepped on the language and sort of the reason for this going forward now. Mm -hmm. Um, so they didn't take any action. Planning board did look at it last Thursday. They, of course, um, they knew about it um, going into it and had no issues, and they voted last Thursday to recommend approval by city council. And do we, because we don't have Pam, do we know where else it went? Did it go to Edlu? Did it go anywhere else? I just want to make sure everybody else is waiting. Um, on. It might be in the minutes. Hold on a second. I think it was yeah. only, I only referred it, I think I did the referral at the council. I think it was only. To that joint committee and us? And, and us and plan. And plan, and the planning board. Yeah. So the planning yeah. board's taken action. Yes, that joint committee made no recommendation, but they dealt with it, so we can yeah. check them off. Does the, did the planning board have to do a hearing on it? Yes. So this is, that. there was an official public hearing. This is an official public hearing. I didn't think there was a need to do a joint public hearing on something like this, so that's why it distributes. So it's been advertised um, as a public hearing for this meeting, and it was also separately advertised for the planning board hearing. Uh, and it's not in our minutes as a public hearing. It was advertised in the Gazette as a public hearing. It should I sent that information to Pam um, as a public hearing for this. Yeah, it's in our. It's on our agenda. Uh huh. But it doesn't say anything about it being a public hearing. Yeah. Okay. And we didn't know it was a public hearing. No. So, so somebody want to move to open the public hearing we didn't know we were having? I'll well, move to open the public <laughs> hearing. Well, we would, would we not have had to put that on the agenda as a public hearing? I'm thinking that we probably did. Well, I, I, again, the agenda says it, so it's been advertised and. I mean, the fact that we're taking it up as an ordinance. Hmm. I think, yeah, I guess I would need, I, I, I'm confused as to why the agenda wouldn't read public hearing as well. Yeah. What's the timing on this? Is it a problem if we do it next month? No. Okay, then I'll move we postpone so that it's placed on the agenda as public hearing for the next meeting. Okay. And that, I mean, given the fact that people sure. aren't prepared to vote for it, given that it's not stated public hearing. Yeah those words on the agenda. So and would you, say you would um, just to continue it officially as a public, continue the public hearing till the... Well, I, uh, what I'm hearing from counselors here is that I'm not comfortable. I didn't hear a second that my opening, move to, my motion to open wasn't seconded. Yeah, I think we gotta just, it's gonna come up at our next meeting anyway. Mm -hmm. So we'll... So I'll just, I'll, I'll withdraw my motion to open the public we'll hearing and instead I'll move to continue this to the next meeting. Okay. And we'll just ask Pam to write the words public hearing on the agenda. And I didn't think to check, you know, last week when the agenda was posted to see how it was written because I forwarded it. Yeah, it doesn't say anything address. about it on our agenda. Yeah. So um, what's the date of your, because technically you continue it to a date and time. Yes, yeah, the, the second, second Monday in okay. the month. 
And how does that do? Do we have to then run another ad? Yes. Okay. Not if you officially continue. Oh, because, well, because it's open for 90 days. Well, well we but we can't it, continue. I'm we sorry. can't really continue it if it never happened. Right. Yeah. What I'm continuing is this item on the agenda. You can continue without opening for the purposes, the legal purposes of having it, can, um, you know, acting on. You could continue it to the next meeting. I think we should postpone it to the next meeting. I think that's what Councilor Carney was suggesting. So it's the ninth. Yeah. Okay. Well, well whatever. My question time. was just, what burden <laughs> does that place on us in terms of reposting an, an ad in the paper? That's yeah. that was my that was just whether we need to do that. And you, you think we're okay? You don't need to do yeah. that, but if you continue it to February 9th at 5 p.m., you know, a date yep. of time certain. Yep. Um, it doesn't need to be re-advertised. Just to be clear, we didn't open. We didn't open a hearing. We're not. We're not continuing a hearing right. because we're right. not open. Right. right. There's you, you could. The way you would say it is, you could. You're continuing it without hearing and without opening to February 9th for a minute. 5 p.m. For a minute. Yep. You got that, Pam? Should be watching the video. <laughs> okay. And um, so, the, I'm just wondering. So there's no. There's no issue because it's 90 days, is it? Okay. It's 90 days from the time you close. We, yeah. Oh, you have to make as long as the balls are oh, still okay, there. Okay, well. okay, so we're fine. All right. Okay. Good. Thanks for dropping by. I guess I'll come back in. That's it. Sorry. No, that's okay. Happens. I mean, it's, we're in no rush. It's just sort of one of those things that, you know, makes sense. So we'll do it. Right. <laughs> All right. So moving right along. 14333. Ordinance regarding section 2084 and 2086 stormwater flood control utility. Um, I, can ex I can explain it. Okay. I can explain it, but I'll, I'll say it at the outset that there, there's more clarity that the solicitor wants to add to this. So I wouldn't recommend that we take any action on this either. Uh, however, I, I could explain it if, if you if the committee would like me to, or I can just wait till next. No, why don't you go ahead? Okay. We're, we're we're here and yeah. we're on record. And okay. Well, this is um, this is in response to questions I keep getting with the stormwater ordinance. Um, how it, from people um, in in my ward and actually in other wards who live in condo associations. And they say, well, how are condo associations billed uh, for the stormwater fee? And right now, the practice of the DPW is just to divide it, to divide it evenly based on the total number of, of units in a condo association. But of course, condo associations have different percentages that they decide on. You might, for example, have a building with three people in it for three units, and two will pay 25% of, of, of the common fee and one would pay 50%. And so you would want to divide the stormwater bill in the same way, um, or at least provide the option to do that. So that's what that's what this seeks to do. Um, yeah, because theoretically they should build the association. Who then has, the association is accustomed right. to But our ordinance proportion. has it written to the property owner right. record. So that theoretically it makes more sense to build the association and then they they understand the distribution of the Well, that's another way to change the ordinance is to change it from the owner of record to where there is a condo mm -hmm. association present, the condo association should be built. Right, and I think that was the uh, solicitor's concern as well, and his preference was to build the association. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then as, as, you know, another point is, yeah, the, the ordinance says the property owner, but then there are little technical details like, the condo association is technically the owner um, it, under mm -hmm. the condo law, which I don't understand. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the kind of mm -hmm. uh, so detail saying the solicitor's mm -hmm. going to help us. Oh, uh, so, okay. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. well, this, this came up for Laurel Park. And, uh, yeah, and he, I oh, mean, yeah, right. the solicitor yeah. has done a great deal of conveyancing in his life, so I'm sure he, mm -hmm. he's up to figuring this one out. But Well, then I'll yeah. move to postpone this until the February 9th meeting as well. Okay, second. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. My goodness, we're flying right through our agenda. Uh, and then I bet you know something about this one too, because it yeah. involves vehicles and traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is 14343, correct errors in chapter 312. Um, do an explanation or a motion first? 
Um, so motion is proper. So yeah, why don't you do, I since we actually may deal with this one. Okay, I, I move approval of this ordinance. I'll second. Thank you. Okay. Um, so what this does, it, it corrects just a number of errors. Um, first, it corrects uh, the limited time parking table. Oh, excuse me. The, the first, actually, in section two, it just cor it corrects it, um, a, a, a reference. reference. Yeah, an incorrect numbered reference. Instead of 1312-108, it should be 1312-109. Um, and then in section three, it corrects a limited time parking table where, among other um, things, we put the 15 minute spaces recently. And unfortunately, when we when the council offered an amendment to specify that the 15 minute spaces would only be 15 minute limited from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., it was somehow either offered wrong or entered into the code wrong. Um, it was entered into the code that they'd be 15 minutes from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. So this goes back and, and corrects all that. I see. And at the same time, it um, makes a number of small kind of typo changes. And then I see we have all of our locations here. Yeah, so really it's just where those things are from, so 8 to 6, so it probably was just entered in wrong because I think we were booking when it was offered, I offered this to be you consistent have, with, the, with the, yeah. You might have seconded it. I went back and I think Councillor Adams spoke, and I think he might have spoke it incorrectly. I went back to the Oh, video. okay. So oh, okay. You're absolved. Wow. You're absolved of blame. Okay. Uh, and finally, this was an error that came through the Transportation and Parking Commission. We created a, a two-foot parking space <laughs> on West Street. For bicycles? Just, so just too space? small. Just too small, yeah. So we correct the measurement. It's the very last row um, on West Street. So, so it's being deleted? So oh, it's being changed. Changed to, uh, to make it a, a, regular, a space. regular space. And so now we're at a point 30 feet southerly from Green Street to a point 48 feet. So nice oh, 18 I see. foot. Yeah, there's a 20 feet difference. <laughs> and did, we, did we put the space back on on New South Street where the crosswalk was? Did we reinstall that space yet? Because it wasn't, we took it out. We took one out for visibility purposes. Then we moved the crosswalk. And I think there could be actually two spaces in there now. You know, I believe we referred that at the last council, didn't we? And I, so I'm actually wondering why it's not on our agenda. Why it isn't here, because theoretically, since the crosswalk's right. not there, we should we should backfill those two spaces again. Because yeah. I think people have enjoyed parking in them. Right, and there wasn't room to do that. We didn't do that already, did we? I don't no, know. I don't think so. I know. So maybe it just didn't work. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll so have to check and yeah. see, but I thought I thought it had yeah. come up, and, and those were the spaces that we were Mm -hmm. I guess we'll get to that next month as well. Maybe we'll see what what actually happened to that. So, mm -hmm. the question on these is this. Can I offer just oh, a there's more. Okay. No, no, but just a small amendment. Has, and has this been everywhere it needs to go? This came from transportation parking, right? Uh, correct. And yes. it didn't go anywhere else. So. No, that's so right. we're okay. I, I just like to strike the sec section one purpose and renumber. So there are only two sections. There's really no reason to have a, a purpose section. That was me just. Uh, fine, fine. For the definitions. Okay. Yeah. So just that's a yeah. family amendment, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. But with that, yeah. Okay. Then, any more discussion on this? Oh, I'd like to just explain one more thing, just, just so you know. Sorry. Uh, the very, the, the preface to the limited time parking section. I guess I would like your, your eyes and approval on this. Um, originally, it said, Parking shall be prohibited in the following locations during the hours and for the time limit indicated. Mm -hmm. And if you then read some of the entries in the table, it just it just wouldn't make sense. It says 15 minutes Monday through Saturday, for example, for the first one on Armory Street. And that would mean that parking is prohibited at all times for 15 minutes on Armory Street. Mm -hmm. And so the new language that I put in there is parking shall be prohibited in the following locations after the expiration of the time limit, of the indicated time limit during the indicated hours and days. Yeah, that, that's okay. Right okay. Yeah. That is and that's, more that's clearer. It. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
So, no. Yes, I'm good with that. I'm You're good with that? Great. Okay. I'm good with that. So, all in favor? Aye. Positive Aye. recommendation. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you uh, here for the ordinance committee? Yeah, I just um, <laughs> I'm like a I'm like a moth to a to a flame. I just try to understand how everything's going to fit together. So if I can watch it on TV, I do. And if I can, I come down and just listen so I can figure out where things are, you know, going to and from. Okay. So really, it's informational. I'm just if we can be of any help, let us know. As we, oh. <laughs> we're pretty much through the exciting portion of our agenda. We have two committee appointments. Um, so I. And I think you were going to speak with them, right? Yeah. Um, and one of them's an appointment from Housing Authority to CPC. I guess that's the case. And it's a. That's. Yeah, that's yeah, that this. thing from George Pass. Yeah. And that's. Yeah. I mean, they're a statutory member. Yeah. And so if. If the housing authority says this is the person yeah. we put forward, we really, it's more an obligatory thing. Right. But I mean, the person they suggested is, is my constituent. I think she's <clears throat> would do an excellent job. Super. I move that we uh, send, is, is that appropriate for us to send this name then, even though it comes? Well, I'll move we forward then with a positive recommendation the uh, appointment of Tony Huckstep. Second, as uh, recommended right. by Housing Authority. All in favor? Second, then. Aye. Aye. Okay. Good. And again, that's, for the record, that's a statutory appointment right. by that body, so we really... But still appropriate for us yeah. to recommend. Oh, yeah, the mayor sent it here, and we do our thing, but... I would also move uh, appointment of, of Esther White to the Northampton um, Arts Council. Second. Mm -hmm. And, and spoke with her Summer time. Street is your award now, or is it yours? Mine. It used to be. But, uh, yeah. Ryan offered to. Oh, is that, well, which side, depends on which side of Summer she's on. Odd. Odd side. Well, I'm, north and South is what I know. Oh. Not numbers. I don't know which is which. This, well. If she's on the South side, she's then 17, she's Ward so she's probably. She's Ward 4. Okay. Yeah. If she's the north on the side, South side, I don't know. North side is the even north side. Okay. Well. Well, maybe I talked to her on the phone, and she's been active in. In the arts community in various ways, and I think she bring a lot of energy and ideas to the arts council. So I would support her for that. A second. Yeah, that was it. That was my second. Okay. No other discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Good. So I believe that is our our agenda completed. Any new business that we did not? No. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.